Hi, um, welcome to my game Shift, which is a puzzle platformer based on false perspective. So this is the first level, and as you can see, you use a mouse to look around. You use WASD to kind of move around, and use space to jump. You use T to toggle third person, which is kind of a bug feature. Um, you can use P to reset your position, and you can see here he's falling from the sky. Um, you can use G to kind of use a wireframe gun, but that's kind of cheating, so it's kind of overpowered, don't do it. And finally, you can use press and hold left shift in order to activate your shifting powers. Um, more on this later. Right, so this is the first level, and as you can see, it's kind of easy to just jump from one block to another block, and you kind of get to the end, and well, the whole level starts breaking down, and you know, okay, you get to the white block, and that's the end of the game. And now you get to the second level. Oh, by the way, look at the sky. Those are what I call sky boxes, because there are boxes in the sky. Anyway, you get to the second level, and it looks the same, but you see the yellow platform is kind of far away, and you try to jump to it, and you realize it's it's too far away. You, you can't do it, right? So, so, so the key here is that you have to use a shifting mechanic. You jump, you press and hold left shift, and then you use a mouse to rotate it such a way that you look like on top of the yellow block. And right here, you see? You're actually on top of this yellow block right now. And then you get onto the white block and you win the game. Then you start dropping down, you drop down into the next level, and this is level 3. So in here, you see a wireframe box, right? Oh, sorry. You see this wireframe box, and the nice thing about wireframe boxes is that they, they can't be interacted with. So not in the shifting perspective manner. I mean, I could do this and kind of cheat if I want to make my thing a wireframe, but let's, let's not do that for now. And let's, let's reset the level. Um, so the key here is that you can't jump to it and you can't shift to it. So the player has to think, well, how do I jump to it? And, and the key observation here is that if you shift to something that's further away, you're kind of making your character bigger. So if I shift to, let's say, this plane, and it looks like I have to be really big from that place. Uh, and now, if you look from a third person, I am suddenly really big, and I can just jump onto this platform because I'm big and I can jump further. Um, exploring that concept of changing your size using shifting, here's a puzzle where you have to make yourself smaller. I mean, that's a, that's a really small gap and you can't fit through normally, so this is a solution. You shift to a, somewhere that is closer to you, right? So you put your ball on top of this platform, and suddenly you're a lot smaller, and you move a lot slower, but you can, well, squeeze through small little spaces. And you have to give me a moment here, because this takes quite a while. Oh yeah, you can see below, you can see all the water boxes as well. You win, you jump down, and you go into the next level. And in here, I want to explore a few other mechanics about you know, how can you use this shifting mechanic, shifting perspective mechanic to do more puzzles. So one observation that you can try to make is that you see this, this yellow box. And if I observe it to be being blocked, which means I don't observe it at all, the yellow, blocks dis the yellow block disappears. So Right here, if I erase this wall by covering it, this wall disappears and I can go through. And you win this level. And then I want to explore this concept of um, wireframes a bit more. So this level here is just to teach the user or the player that he can pretty much just shift through wireframes. So he doesn't interact with this thing, he can just shift right through it and end up on the other side of the wall. And here's a little bit of lateral thinking is required because you have a wall and you can't jump through it and you can't shift through it. And the solution is just simply to jump off to the side and then shift to the other end. I wanted to include a bit of mechanical skill as well, not just, well, it's not just a puzzle game, it's also a platformer. And here is a little extension. You can shift over to the other side. Uh, okay, I screwed that up, I'm sorry. Hold on, you can shift over to the other side. And then you notice it become bigger, and you're supposed to become even bigger to jump over to that white block there. So I shift one more time. And I'm really big right now, and I should be able to jump onto that block. Hold on. From this place. And I, yes, I'm big enough to jump onto this white block. And this is the final um, puzzle that I have just to teach a user what's happening. So as you can see, there's a block behind me, right? 
and um, ideally I want to shift my perspective so that my my sphere is on top of that green block and I can walk onto the exit. But what happens is that I have a collision with my camera. So what happens is that um, your camera can't really move through solids. So it collides with this block and refuses to enter shifting mode. So what you have to do is shift down to here so you're bigger and then erase this block right here. Uh, let me try that again. Uh -huh. And then the block's gone. And then from here, you can shift yourself so that you're on top of the green block. A bit of fine-tuning required, hold on. Shift yourself so that you're on top of the green block right here. Um, as with all puzzles, there are actually multiple solutions. So if you do this well enough, what you can do is you can actually shift here onto this block and you're bigger now. So what you do is you jump to the left and then shift yourself to the end, to the green block right there. Aha. So the point is that there are supposed to be multiple solutions to certain puzzles. And yeah, that's the end of the demo right now. I mean, you can combine